Hi, Chris from JNS again. Um, we're doing an unboxing now of an LS2 helmet. Um, LS2, they're a fantastic brand. We only recently started stocking them, but wow, what a fantastic helmet. Really, really good, all the different models that we do, and they're selling really well. Uh, very popular with the customers. But this particular one uh, is the LS2 FF327 uh, Challenger replica helmet, and it's the Carl Fogarty replica. There's two different colorways. Um, there's the Foggy uh, World Superbike and the Foggy TT. Uh, this is the World Superbike, this one. Let's open this one up and take a look at it. Um, there we go. Very popular rider Foggy was, and uh, still is, and his design was always really popular. I remember selling loads of them when they were lasers or sharks and now of course they're LS2. Nice snazzy bag, lovely little snazzy bag there, LS2 bag, which is a little bit different, they push the boats out there. Um, let's pull this out, this is the World Superbike one, look at that, very nice. Yeah, very nice that one. Of course got the red rose on the front, and this particular model is a great model helmet anyway. Um, I'll just show you a few different things about it. Uh, starting at the front, uh, demisting vents on the front here, open and close as normal. And on the brow, um, there's also extra air intakes on the top of the helmet as well. Exhaust vents at the back, exhaust vents at the side as well. Looking inside, there's a nice, nice, comfortable, lovely feel lining to this inside here as well. And they've got some of the safety tabs as well, just marked in red underneath that flap there. That's on the cheek pads. You can just pull them if you need to get your helmet off in the event of an accident. It's just really easy to get the, the, uh, the helmet off. Um, and that's a, a ratchet strap system there as well, which everybody likes, makes it nice and easy. Um, and then you've got the switch at the bottom for the internal sun visor as well that, that this comes with but just let me show you the visor first of all it's a um, pinlock prepared visor and I do believe the pinlock comes with it as well so that's free of charge uh, but this has a, a helmet lock on it now basically it's that button there and it's in its lockdown position at the minute and you just push that up and it releases it slightly now it looks to me like that's just released slightly so you can have it slightly ajar if you want to, if you want a little bit of uh, uh, through flow of air, you can do that and then that's how it lifts there at the top and that's the little release button there on the front, which is quite a good idea. Um, sliding the internal visor slider up and down of course, there you get your, your smoked internal visor, works straight forward, very nice. There we go, put that on one side, and in the box as well, um, yeah, there's your free pin lock uh, double glazing for your visor, basically just stops uh, misting up of the visor when that's, when that's inside there, fantastic idea. And then there's something else here which is a, I don't quite know what it is, it's, it's LS2 marked, but is it a bag or a, oh right. Okay, well this says it's a, a helmet support. Oh right, okay, this is probably um, the helmet donut, um, but it's inflatable. Let's blow it up, let's see, let's see what it does. Yep, sure enough, it's a helmet donut there. Superb, took that away. And of course, if you want to work or clean the visor or work on the, on the helmet or whatever, you can utilise the donut there to, to work on your lid, which is superb. We have these all the time, use these all the time in the shop and we're fitting visors and liners and interiors and intercoms, etc. Uh, so these are really handy and that comes with its own free of charge, superb. Let me pull that box down there and let's just have a look at the other colour. Um, obviously that's the World Superbike and this apparently is the TT. Well, that colour synonymous with shark, I remember that, but I'm sure when he was doing the TT, again, similar bag, very nice. When he was doing the TT with laser, it was a white base with the red rose, so I suspect 
it's similar to that. And yeah, it certainly looks that way. Let's have a look. That's out of there. And there we go. Yes, indeed. White base with the with the red and the gold. That's a lovely looking helmet. Fantastic decals on there. Great design. And it really suits the shape of the helmet as well, doesn't it? That design. Superb. And this is exactly the same model with exactly the same features. Fantastic. So there you go. There we are. That's the LS2, um, the F327 Challenger replica, foggy replica. That's the TT and that's the World Superbike. And don't forget to like and subscribe to JNS for more stuff from us.